the SNP is set for a general election, drubbing with 30 Scottish Nationalist Party MPs losing their seats, polling shows. Humza Yousaf's party is predicted to win 18 seats at the next national vote, down from the 48 the SNP took in the 2019 general election. Scottish Labour looks set to snatch a majority of those seats, including that of Midlothian MP and SNP Chief Whip Owen Thompson, analysis from electoral calculus shows. Others losing their seats according to the poll are Deirdre Brock, Ronnie Cowan, Kenny McCaskill, Marion Fellows and David Linden, the SNP's spokesperson for social justice. The party's shadow transport spokesperson, Gavin Newland's seat, is also vulnerable with the poll showing his Paisley and Renfrewshire North seat being taken by Scottish Labour. Tommy Shepherd, who commanded a 10,417 majority in 2019, is also in danger of losing his Edinburgh East and Musselburgh seat to Scottish Labour, the poll shows. Electoral calculus's analysis shows the SNP securing just 3.2% of the vote at the next general election, which is expected later this year. That figure is a significant drop on 2019's 4% and compares to 43.1% for Labour, 25.2% Conservatives, 10.2% for Reform, 9.9% Lib Dem and 5.9% Green. But of course the SNP is not able to stand in seats anywhere other than Scotland. The SNP has been rocked over recent months with the shock resignation of Scotland's former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, a police probe into the party's finances and a steady decline in support. Scottish Labour has persistently shown it is closing the gap with the SNP, which has been in power in Scotland for 16 years. In a possible sign of things to come, Scottish Labour took the Rutherglen and Hamilton seat from the SNP after a by-election triggered after constituents voted to remove Margaret Ferrier.